Hey what's up guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a seamless or repeating hexagon pattern inside affinity designer i was recently creating a hexagon or honeycomb theme pattern design with some bees you know hexagon background and some flowers and i faced an issue while trying to make it seamless or make it repeating and then i overcame that issue so i thought why not share this technique with you and it might be helpful for you so guys if you are interested in that Let's get started. So here inside Affinity Designer, I'm going to go to File and create a new document. And first, I'm going to show you the issue that you will face if you are trying to create it the regular way. So I am just choosing the square size format, and uh, then everything else is just the same. Uh, same settings uh, you can use rgb or cmyk depending upon on uh, the purpose of your pattern so i'm using cmyk because i'm going to be using it for my print on demand products and then i'm going to press create now this method that i usually use to create repeating pattern you know you know starting with the square size document and the issue with this hexagon pattern is that you cannot create a square size document and uh, make this pattern pattern seamless it's not really possible i know it's it's possible but uh, it's not going to be you know the perfect one let me show you the issue here so first i'm going to create a simple square size by pressing the shift key and uh, you know making it just simple square let's just make it 400 by 400 to be more specific and then just align it here at the center and uh, just give it a stroke you know just any width maybe that would be fine anyway then i'm going to use this polygon tool here select this polygon tool and press the shift key and make a polygon now it's currently five-sided polygon and we need a six-sided polygon for the home honeycomb theme pattern anyway now that i have created this hexagon it's inside it let me just scale it so that the top end meets this point i am pressing the shift key and the bottom end meets the lower end of the square now clearly you can see that the top and the bottom sides meet their our square but there is a gap on the sides so that means that you cannot make this pattern repeating if you select hexagon a regular hexagon and try to make it you know seamless in this square size document it's not possible because there will always be a gap between these uh, sides so that is the issue this is the basic concept that if it if one shape this basic shape does not fit into the one basic square shape it means that you cannot fit multiple copies of this one or of repeating patterns or rows or columns into a simple square shape it's not possible so that was the issue that i faced although you can you know try to work around and find some different things and believe me i did try to find that but it will always give me slight errors or slight uh, something that irregularities in my final pattern so this is not the way to create repeating patterns so let me just close it and hopefully you now understand the problem when trying to make this hexagon pattern repeatable so this is now the correct way to do it so I'm going to go to the new document and I'm choosing the square format and uh, 300 dpi it doesn't mean no matter what you, you know units you choose you can use whatever you want so previously you uh, might have seen that i have this option create artboard unchecked but for now i want this option to be, to be checked so i have selected this option and i have kept all the other uh, options or all the other settings to be the same and then i'm going to press create so that is very important you should have this option checked and now instead of that document you have this artboard that you can resize so previously the problem was that you cannot resize that document easily although you can do it here inside the finish designer but it's not easy to do it so this is an easier way to resize your document size or the artboard size and it will help you create that repeating hexagon pattern so just to quickly you know bring in the hexagon shape that i have already created so I'm just going to open that up here and then choose this hexagon and this is the basic shape for example the simple hexagon regular hexagon and by the way 
if you create a simple hexagon shape using this polygon tool and then make the size to be 6 you can see that this outer bounding box blue area is slightly at that you can see there is a gap between this side of the polygon or hexagon and this bounding box so if you want to remove that side or uh, that gap all you have to do is just simply convert it into curves and now it will be on the actual shape so that's just a small tip here now i'm going to select this one and copy it and paste it my artboard here and uh, now i'm going to make this repeatable first let me just make sure that it is perfectly at the center of the artboard now it's perfectly at the center and then i'm going to uh, create vertical and horizontal lines here so i'm going to select this pen tool and i'm going to choose this line mode and create a simple vertical line like that and make sure that it's center uh, it is at the center give it a stroke width so that you can easily see it like that let me just give it four point stroke that looks fine and then i'm going to select this one press ctrl j to copy it and then just you know rotate it horizontally at the perfect 90 degrees so it so that it makes a cross like that now it is going to help us find the center of this polygon that's very important so i'm going to select that polygon shape that i created earlier select both of these curves and press g to group them then i'm going to you know select this group that i have created not do not select the artboard select the group that you have created and bring it at this location and as soon as it snaps you can leave it like that and then i'm going to create a copy of this one so by pressing ctrl j i'm going to have created a copy of this one and then i'm going to move it here and i'm not concerned about this touching this thing I'm, i do not want it to touch this because we want it to create a, a you can say that a background here so that is why i'm creating a gap here so simple small gap here like that and by the way if you do not want to create a gap uh, you do not have to create those vertical lines coming out or inside of that uh, in or outside of uh, these polygon shapes you can add these lines you know at this location at this you know touches the boundaries of the polygon so i have extended those back black lines because i wanted to create a small gap between these two polygons so yeah i think that uh, this much gap is enough and now without deselecting anything or without deselecting this square all i have to do is press ctrl j a couple of time to create copies of this polygon at the perfect distance now the final polygon here is at this location and uh, it does not matter i can leave it here or i can create an extra polygon on going outside so i'm going to press ctrl j once again to have polygon going outside that that looks fine anyway now i'm going to select all of these groups that i've created press ctrl j to copy them and then bring them down like that and then i'm going to just you know randomly position it at this location trying to create similar style of gap that i already have so you know it is just uh, you can say that eyeballing here it does it does not have to be really perfect so i think uh, that would look fine this much gap is almost the same yeah that looks fine now i'm going to select all of these groups that i have created then press ctrl j to copy them and then move them down like that and then again once again try to position it in such a way that it has almost the same gap like that so yeah that looks fine and then without deselecting anything i'm going to create a couple of copies here like that and uh, maybe another row would be fine so that looks fine so now that i have multiple copies and filled everything i want to make it repeating now now let me just deselect everything here and now the problem is that artboard only covering this side this particular area it is not making it repeatable so although i can select this artboard tool here 
and select the artboard and try to resize it like that you know but it is something sometimes it does not work as you can see that it's not snapping at this one we want it to snap it is not snapping okay so in order to fix that issue I all I want is to just make it bigger go beyond that and make it too much big it, it does not have to be any specific size so I want to see all of these elements at the moment anyway so now that I have extended my output beyond the you know artwork here I want to create a second artboard now this second artboard needs to be of a very specific size and it should make our pattern repeatable so now in order to make the artboard of a perfect size so that our pattern is repeatable I'm going to you know, first deselect this artboard that I have extended then select this artboard tool once again and uh, before I do that let me adjust this a little bit more so first we have to select this first one that we created and make sure that you bring these lines the horizontal and the vertical lines outside that group like that so that once that is outside select this one like that and make these lines to be outside of that group and in the same way the last one that should come just below it this one actually this one that needs to be outside so we do not need this last row because it's not included in our seamless pattern it is we do not really need it anyway so i'm going to select this one because it need to be directly below this first one so select this one and then make sure that these lines are outside it in the same way select this one and make sure that the lines are outside of that group like that and then you will select this artboard tool and once it is at this location let me select this one this first one that we created so as soon as it snaps so so currently you will see that this red dot so currently it is here in this location like that and as soon as it snaps you know currently here it is snapping so as soon as it snaps you will create a rectangle or you know the artboard like that and you will extend it till it reaches at this point and again as soon as it snaps like that you will leave it and then bring it down and once again you need to make sure that it snaps in this location as well so it, as soon as it snaps you will leave it and now you have created a new artboard that is at the center points of this polygon these corner polygons so now that i have my second artboard created that is perfectly at the center points of our polygons like that then you can select all of these polygons and bring it into the second artboard but before you do that you need to uh, remove these black lines you can do it at this point or after bringing it into the second artboard now that all the lines are deleted i'm going to select all of these groups and then simply you can group them into a single thing or you can just simply bring them inside that second artboard and now you can delete the first artboard we do not need it now this second artboard is a repeating pattern of these hexagon uh, shapes that we created and then i'm just uh, going to quickly change this color so if you want to follow this part you can follow it or if you want to skip it you can skip it easily so first i'm going to select all of these groups because i do not want them in any group so i'm going to uh, right click and then ungroup now i simply have these curve shapes that i originally created and i'm going to randomly color them in a different way So I have just recolored these hexagon shapes randomly with different colors and then I can simply apply a background here and select a rectangle shape of any size and then I can just bring it behind everything so I can right click here arrange and then move to back and then I can just simply color it maybe with the black color and then I can simply export this uh, pattern so let me just save it and then go to file export and make sure that 
right uh, artboard is selected so i have this second artboard artboard 2 that is selected and then i can simply export it as a png image and then i can test it here so i can just hide this one and simply create a rectangle shape of any size here and then i can go to this fill tool and from solid i'm going to change it to bitmap and select that exported file png file that i have just you know created a few minutes ago now it has filled this document with those that pattern file and i can scale it up to check if we have any kind of seams here so as you can clearly see that our pattern is completely seamless there are no visible seams in any location and i can use it for my design for whatever i want to create so i can add multiple other elements here and use it as a background so guys that's how easily you can create a hexagon repeating pattern inside affinity designer now you can use this technique to create other kind of backgrounds which uh, may or may not have hexagon shapes it might have any other kind of polygons uh, do not try to use it on a pentagon because that is a whole different thing so mostly i would recommend it to use it with hexagon and try to come up with different variation different type of pattern styles that you might have in your mind and you can always use online images google images as an inspiration so once again if you have found this video and this tutorial to be useful make sure that you like the video and let me know in the comments below it will help me with the youtube algorithm and all that and you can subscribe to this channel as well and don't forget to press that bell icon and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching